welcome back to Granny Cookers Kitchen. Y'all, today, I just want to do something quick and simple. And it's kind of like party food, but this is going to be an all-in-one. I am doing Rotel Dip today, and I'm adding in ground beef in it. I'm adding in spinach, and that's going to be my dinner. So let's go in first. My skillet is already hot, waiting on my meat. This may be something like a little pound of ground beef. But I'm going to ground up my meat first. I love that sizzle. You don't have to put any oil. Because I think this is like 80, 20, 20%, 80% lean, 20% fat. So it's going to make its own little little fat all right so while this is kind of settling down now i'm just going to add in just very little spices little onion powder we don't have to put as much just kind of season the meat a little bit we don't want to overpower because we want our little cheese to make sure that it's found and we can taste it really well but what was that? Onion powder. I'm doing just a little season salt. Pretty much, I kind of use like what I would use if I'm uh, seasoning my hamburgers. So this is just a little all seasoning. Like I said, we don't have to have as much. I'm still going to do just a little salt. Because cheese is going to be pretty salty. And then the chips also. And black pepper. And that's it. Now, if you just, you know, love little, little chunks of onions or little dices of onion, you can dice you some onion in if you like. But this is all we're going to do. You know, you can always do it yourself the way you like it to your own taste. But I think that was enough for a little season just for the meat. All we're doing is just browning this. And once we get this ground beef brown, I'm moving around because I'm just trying to get the chunks out of it. I like it to be fine. All right. So while that is, I'm waiting on that to brown, settle down. With clean hands, um, I'm using three kinds of cheese. Um, I'm using Velveeta. I'm not going to use all of this Velveeta. Maybe half of the block. And once again, that would be to your preference. So what I'm going to do today, I'm kind of going a quick way because I'm really hungry. I guess y'all say I'm hungry on every video. I got to stop waiting till the end of the day to try to eat. And then I try to rush and cook something quick. Which is not really good for my age, but sometimes you can get away with it. So I'm going to cut up half of this Velveeta cheese block. And normally I would... I would get all my cheese together and I will put it into a crock pot, but we're going to do this on top of the stove today, y'all. So we're using Velveeta cheese. We're using cream cheese. And my cream cheese is already at room temperature, so you want to definitely make sure that your cream cheese is room temp. And I'm using this nacho cheese in the can by Campbell, the Fiesta kind. We're using that. So that's three kinds of cheese. I like to mix up, have a different mixture of cheese. It all blends so well in this dip. Because when you thin it out, you're gonna be using milk. So when the milk adds with all the cheese, all of it is a dairy. And it just blends so well. Like I say, I normally would put this in the crock pot. But I'm going to mix all this today in the microwave. Because I'm rushing. Oh, and here is our... This is the fiesta cheese that we're using. And we're just going to go right in with it. Make sure you use it. If, if you decide to use the microwave, make sure you just have a big enough bowl where you can put it all everything will fit so you'll 
be able to have room to stir it. Okay, so that's our cheese. Those are the three cheeses in there. Let's give this a quick stir here. This is pretty much ready. And this, it really doesn't have that much, um, that much of the fat because, um, like I said, this was 80, 20. I guess if it had been 75, 25, it probably would have rendered more fat, but the lesser the fat, then the lesser the um, the grease, the oil comes off the meat. If we were using like 90, 10, oh, it wouldn't hardly be any. Well, that's when you get into then, you know, like your chuck, the leaner the meat. But yeah, this is almost ready. Okay, so while they're still doing that, I have here three cans of Rotel. Now, this is the original. You can also get mild if you just don't like the spicy, but I just wanted just a little kick to it, but it comes in all different um, um, strengths. But this is the original, but it does have the heat. So we're going to just pour this right on in on top of the cheese. I'm using three cans because I like uh, a lot of the tomatoes. Well, you know what? I'll take that back. I may just go with two cans. I got three open, so I just put one for reserve for just in case. Now, um, I have my spinach here. Already, this is um, chopped spinach. I normally would just rinse it off really, really good, and then I let it set and I let it drain. But even after it finished draining, I would just still um, take me a, um, a, a smasher or something and just, just press, I mean, press as long as I can to get all the water out of it because you want it to really be dry when you put it in. But I'm not going to put this in until after I get everything in the pot, but I just got it ready. So when it does get ready to go into the pot, it will be ready. Let me put a little bit more black pepper on this. Oh, you know what I'm missing with this? I'm sorry, y'all. Just a little Italian season. to add two kinds of meat, especially when uh, I'm making it for a lot of people. But that's again, to your preference. Like I said, we don't have to do too much to this meat because between the cheese and the rotel and the spinach. And so just kind of, you know, cook it down till mostly you see all of the pinkness pretty much gone. And it's gonna do its little simmering in the cheese anyway. So yeah, so that's that's that on that. So we're gonna drain that off. We're gonna drain this little grease off, this little oil off. your cheese and your rotel and everything will look. I'm not going to put any milk in it yet. I'm going to stick this in the microwave and then I'm just going to keep checking it in between times. Stirring it when it gets to be um, smooth and stirrable like I like it when it all has come together the way I like it. Then that's when I will know then how much milk that I will need to add in it because the milk is going to thin it out. You don't want it to be so thick. You don't want it to be too thick where um, you can't dip it. But you know, once you start um, 
once you start stirring it, then you know that will determine how much how much milk you will need to thin it out. <laughs> She said, but it's ugly as I don't know what, but that's some good stuff. So when I went in there, you know, had been dragging a little bit tipsy. And when I looked at that, I'm like, uh-uh, I can't eat that. I can't eat that. Just taste it, just taste it, just taste it. I said, uh-uh, girl, I can't eat that stuff looking like that. She said, just taste it, just taste it. So I tried it, and believe you me, um, I've been eating it ever since. So then, you know, I'm like this. Once I get to know what's in a certain dish, then that'll let me know then, okay, well, it was, it just, it wasn't as peeling to the eye, because you know how they say we eat with our eyes, but that night, I guess, honey, that look I had my eyes so clouded, I couldn't just really see, but once I tasted it, it was really, really good. So, I'm going to just get all this uh, pulled together. Like I said, I'm going to keep checking this um, in 30 minutes increment in the microwave, and I'm going to keep stirring it, and when I finish with this, then when it comes together, I'm going to bring it back and let you see what it looked like when I get ready to put it into the pot. So we'll be back. Okay, we're back. I ended up adding that third can of Rotel. So you see how loose it is in the microwave? And like I say, then now if you want to use your crock pot, just put this in the crock pot. But we're going to use the pot today. So I'm pouring all of this cheese goodness in. And I still may end up adding a little bit more milk, though. I don't know once I get it all together. All right, so that's that. We're going in with our drained meat here. Just putting it right on in. And our spinach right in. already and this is oh don't go out yet please okay let me hurry up my battery slow but this is what it's gonna look like look at these beautiful colors and you see how pretty that spinach looks up in there so it's like you got your vegetables you have tomatoes in there you have chili you have the spinach you have your ground beef you have all of these three cheeses and this is what it looked like. This is our spinach beef rotel. Oh, yummy. It's pretty much ready, but I'm just going to let it simmer a little bit. Because like I said, I might add just a little bit more milk to it. My folks like theirs to be really thick, but I like mine to be, you know, really, really thin. But So I'm just going to turn my heat on low. And I'm going to let it simmer a little bit. And I'm going to top this up. So we're going to come back when it simmers enough. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to plate this. And we're going to do a little mini mukbang. And this is our final results. 